Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I'll be talking about how you can import a function from a different folder in Python. So I'm assuming uh, you have Python installed in your computer. So let me uh, create a new terminal here. Uh, once you have your terminal opened, you can create a new virtual environment to check which version you have. You can type python hyphen version python 3.12 to create a virtual environment we can write python hyphen mv env env so this will create a new environment named env we have the env folder here it's still running fine now let's activate env you can say env slash the scripts slash activate uh unauthorized access i i think this is coming because we are running this on powershell straight on cmd env scripts activate yeah so we activated our environment successfully. Now let's create a new folder and call it, uh, for example, artifacts. This is one folder. Let's create a new folder and okay, new folder. We can say maybe helpers. Okay, this should be outside. Move. Yeah, we have now two different folders, artifacts and helpers. Let's create a um, Python file inside artifacts and name this file as, for example, my underscore strings dot py. So this is a Python file and this Python file has a function, for example, get my name. So this function will, I'm returning something, return Abhishek here. Now this function will return my name. Now, uh, so our objective is to call this function from artifacts folder from helpers from a folder. So these helpers and artifacts are two different folders. And we want to include mystrings.py or import mystrings.py inside a file which is there, there under helpers folder. So let's create a file here uh, very quick and name it as a, you can name it as a step one dot py for example, like you have something xyz.py file here and you want to import so normally when you would try to import it will uh it uh it will import if the file is present under the helpers folder only if this mystrings.py is present inside helpers it is easy to import or if this artifacts folder is present itself it is present inside helpers folder then it is easy to import but in this case this is a very uh like special case where two different functions are at same level in the directory and we want to import one into another so how to approach this problem so there is one uh, faster way and then there is a one correct way i will show you both the ways uh, Let's start with the faster way first. So we can say import um, sys sys. Then we can write a code line saying sys dot path dot insert. So here we will pass zero for the root level and we will add the path of this artifacts folder so you can copy the path here and paste it here in double quotes so if you are in windows then you need to escape all these backspaces backspaces so add one more backspace if you are in linux then it will be forward slash 
backspace forward slash fine. Mm, yeah, all the backspaces are escaped since it is escape character. So we need to add one more extra. So now after writing this line, if we say from for example my strings strings import get my name if you say this and we print some print this uh, output of this function get my name and we run this uh, so to run this go inside helpers so cd helpers s now you run this file python step one dot py see so i'm getting the name here so this this file is successfully imported inside our step one dot py which is under helpers so this is the fast way to do this but this is not the correct way because uh one so it will work on your system so the moment you will pass this file to another system it will stop working because of this reason c users get a b so this much this path will be different in another computer so maybe c uses some other username and then if the person is storing it in downloads then this will also be different the code folder can also be different so the path entirely can be different so how to deal with this problem fine so what i will do i will edit this file by importing one more uh, package called os and i will get the current working directory so i will call this cwd for current working directory and equal to os dot get cwd so this should uh, i will comment this out for now and let's try to print this and see what it is returning cwd so it is returning a path current directory path till helpers uh, helpers folder but what we are targeting we want a path till artifacts folder not the helpers folder so here we need artifacts so we need to edit this cwd in order to create an artifacts path so let's try let's create a new uh, variable call it artifacts path you can name this variable anything because my folder is artifacts that's why i'm keeping it artifacts underscore path and uh, cwd i will use it here so i will say um, cwd dot r find r find is used to find the last occurrence of any character so i will find last occurrence of this character this character so it will uh, in my path so this is this is the cwd so i will get the index of this this thing this slash with the help of this r find function last occurrence of slash now once i have an index of that i will uh, i will uh, split the cwd path till here till the index so i need this much at least to do that i will write cwd square bracket starts from zero and ends till here so this is a python substring code i'm ending it here now we will get this much import from different folder this base folder path i am getting now instead of helpers i want artifacts so let's append artifacts here artifacts now 
I should get the, the artifacts path. Let's try and print the artifacts path. Now running this again. See, this is the CWD we got earlier. And after conversion, uh, after this logic that we wrote, we are getting now artifacts folder path, which is similar to what we passed here in this step. So the benefit of using this CW get CWD function is in every system, this function will give a path according to that system. So we don't need to write C users get a B documents code. This stuff is not needed now. So this stuff will come from get CWD folder and it will work on each and every system wherever, wherever you will run this code. So now, now that we have the artifacts path, what we can do is we can pass this artifacts path here instead of this string passing artifacts path. Let's comment this out. Print is not required. We just wanted to see how it is looking. So now we have uh, this line and these two lines will be will remain as it is. Now let's try running this again. Now I'm getting Abhishek again. So the only changes what I did is adding was adding these two three lines import os os.cwd and then editing that CW current working directory path so that it uh, becomes a path of the folder in which the file is there, which uh, whose function we want to import here. So once we have this artifacts path, we can add it in a system path with this line, and then we can directly access uh, my strings file and the function inside it. So like this, we can approach this problem and solve the import issue. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you like the video and learn something from it, please hit a like and leave a comment about how you felt. What uh, did it, did this video solve any of your problem or are there any questions? Please uh, leave it in the comment section and I'll try to answer all of them. Thank you.